Welcome back to the garage guys. We're back out here on the smoker. Today we're going to use the JD's Garage Plasma Cutter to cut out some parts for this thing. Uh, one interesting thing we're going to do today is we're going to use this device on some of the parts cutouts. So we're going to cut out the door band to go around the door on the firebox. We're going to cut out the door band for up here. We're going to cut out the hinges. And uh, due to a lot of your comments, you convinced us to go with a five inch smokestack on this. So we need to cut out a new ring for the collector. So we're going to get that cut out. We're going to get this welded on. And we're going to just about get this thing done. And you're going to see this device in action. So we're working on the THC right now. And if you take a look at it, we've got the torch almost all the way over to the right side of the table. And we're just about touching the metal and when we move it over to the left side we've got the stage so that we're um, metals out of wax so we might be a quarter inch higher now over on that side so we're going to be cutting out some big parts and we're going to see how the THC reacts as we're cutting Well, it looks like the THC did exactly what we wanted it to. Uh, we were watching it, it was moving along the way, it was seemed to be working well. Uh, got these parts that cut, got cut out, they're probably 18, 19 inches long. And we purposely, 22, 22 inches long, Jackson said. And we purposely um, had them out of, out of level about a quarter inch across that length. So, looks like the THC did an okay job.
Looks like we got some real nice cuts on these. Came out real nice. Very little slag, a little bit to knock off, but time we drop it on the cement, most of that will be gone. So there we have the door band. So one of the things we're going to try, we've never done this before, is we're not going to cut out the holes for the hinges or the pivot point. We are just going to set a pierce to center punch the holes because we need to drill those holes to have a very precise uh, location because we want to press in brass bushings so we keep a nice smooth movement on that. So we're just going to do a pierce, uh, basically a center punch, so we can drill the holes out later. But it'll give us an exact position, so we're going to see how that works. We're going to give it a try. So I grabbed one of the parts from the uh, plasma cutter and you can see how we got a nice little center punched hole. It's a little bigger than we thought it was going to be. We'll probably have to um, uh, slow down or, or shorten the pierce time, but we got a nice part cut out. We do have a nice little spot to drill. Hopefully it'll drill okay. Well, we're getting ready to put the door in. We think we got a plan, Jackson. How are we going to do this? So what we're going to do is we just got a uh, couple pieces of scrap metal. And we're just going to weld them or tack them on to the inside uh, here, here, and up here. And then we're going to set the door in here and then shim it in place and then weld the hinges on. So we got the hinge pieces cut out with the JD's Garage Plasma Cutter. And we went ahead and we pressed in a bronze bushing and it's a flange type there and when we set this up the flange is going to be down so the weight will ride on there and it'll give us a bearing surface so it'll work like that so we're just going to assemble this here put these together there's one end And we'll get those up to the edge. And then once we're satisfied, we'll still be able to pull this pin out. But once we're satisfied, we'll uh, put a spot weld on there. You know, we'll test the door to make sure it works. But we'll, we'll put a spot weld on each side of that to uh, get it in. So we got the firebox door shimmed into place. We just used a couple of door uh, wood shims for shimming doors. And we made a mark where the hinges are going to go. We've got the hinge assembled. We're going to drop it in and see if we can't get it into place. Grab that drill bit over there. It's yeah, it looks works good actually. Close it. So we're getting ready to weld the band on the door. And Jackson, why don't you say how you squared it up? So I got the I got a caliper here and I'm using the back end of it. And I got it set to three quarters of an inch and I was able to just slide it underneath here to measure the gap around all the corners to get it centered. You gotta flip that thing around and put the supports on it and the door will be done. So Jackson's going to weld on these door supports. Uh, we plasma cut them out with the JD's Garage Plasma Cutter. And uh, show them how they go together, Jackson. They just kind of mesh together in the center and we're going to weld them on the door. So they go like together like that. And then he prepped the metal, he made some grooves and some bevels so that the welds stick good. But 
Um, just in case the firebox gets too hot, that flat door may want to bend and warp, and by putting these supports on there, that should alleviate any of that. How free does it move? It moves pretty easily. It really does. Looks like it's going to seal tight. Yeah. Close it up. I want to look. Hold it close. Oh, yeah. A little bit on the bottom. A little bit of a gap. We just put a couple tack welds on here just to hold it. And now we're going to try and make sure it's it's uh, plumb to the earth and everything, and then we'll we'll hard weld it in. So we got these pieces cut out for the door banding, and we put a we, we pre bent them so they're somewhat close to the shape of this, and then uh, we got vice grips and a couple of clamps holding it on. So we'll start here, and then we'll move our more vice grips around as we uh, uh, weld it on. Now we were hoping by doing this method that we could just use those bands on the outside to hold the door in place when we um, put it in there to put the hinges on, so why don't you grab her, Jackson, and see if it'll fit in. Watch your toes, you don't want that thing falling out and getting your toes. <laughs> What's in there? Place now. now we just have to shim the height and get it left to right and then we'll weld the hinges on. So we set the door in place as you saw previously and then we took a ratchet strap just to hold the door in so we don't have to have a guy putting it in there. Um, we got it centered side to side and we're using these two screwdrivers here to level the door and get our proper gap. And now that we have our hinges put in place we're going to set them on top of right about there. They'll look like that on the door. And we're going to get these welded on and our stripping going across the sides. Top and bottom. Or across the top and bottom. So we got this resting on here, and then we're going to go ahead and tack it in place. But it's going to have, it's going to take two guys, one guy holding these, and another guy welding to get them on. You think it's enough to try the door? Maybe. How about the two on the door? Those aren't going to move much, so you could probably burn those. Yeah. You could probably burn that. Well, take that strap off. Let's see what we got. Hopefully there's not a lot of grinding. <laughs> Holy cow, that works. It's heavy though. <laughs> the way it works. You don't want your fingers in there when you're closing that door. Just well, like that. Happens. Yeah. 
Well, we're going to get these last uh, things welded here. Looks like she should hold. Got the hinges on. Doors operating nice. Hopefully when it cools it'll still operate well. Well guys, we're uh, gonna wrap up the video here. We had a really productive day. We were able to get the firebox door on. We got the bracing for the firebox. We got the banding around it. Uh, we also got the main smoke chamber door. We got the hinges on. We got the banding around that, all except for this top band and um, we got the stack mounted. So we're gonna wrap this up in one more video. Um, we've gotta put the grating in. We also have to finish mounting the dampers for the air box and the smokestack damper. Um, that'll be in the next video. We hope you guys enjoyed uh, the sneak peek on our THC that we're working on, our torch height controller. Uh, we're getting ready to beta test these. We're gonna need some some of our viewers to do some beta testing for that. So if you're interested, if you have a working JD's Garage plasma cutter uh, with a Z axis, drop us a comment below and we'll decide in the next week or two who's gonna be our beta testers. So with that, thanks a lot for watching to the end. Make sure to like and subscribe.